perfect guys. They're still <laughs> kind of nervous. <laughs> Guess what we got today? Pokeball. Pokeball. Oh, I'm so exited. <laughs> Cold. Here, friend. Thank you. Period. Yo, this thing is stacked. Literally. Here. Thank you. Oh, get chicken. Chicken skin. Chicken skin. Chicken skin. It's actually the most genius thing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't. Okay, now she can get on with her story time. What do you want me to? What do you want me to say? Like, where do I start? Girl, where you want to start? A little bit crazy. I think the best pokeballs are literally at like food line. They are. Okay. See? I don't know what's on my. Oh. <laughs> do you use that too? Yeah, I Yo. love it. I took all my Australia pictures on it. I tried to use it, but then. Like the sign up process is insane. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. It's such a humbling experience. <laughs> but like mm -hmm. after after you get the sign up done, they never bother you ever again. That's good. <laughs> it's like I had to name like what? 30 friends? I'm yeah, bro. It's terrible. I don't have friends. Thank you. Thanks mm -hmm. though. Okay, what did you tell me up to? I only told you about my first day. Mm. When we went to the the zoo and oh the my gosh, cause time diff time zones are so different. Well, it's I was a day ahead of you, but oh, like an time in the day wise, yeah. we were only three hours apart. Oh. Yeah, so it's not super bad. Okay, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. first day. So what happened? It was awesome. Just like, sorry, wait, focusing on the chicken skin. Can I have one? Thank you so much. Thank mm. you, you bought it. And then, no problem, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, how are you and Nakan? Oh, my boyfriend. Good. He's um really busy. Still busy and stuff. Huh? I always say this when we see each other. What'd you say? What happened? Why? Oh. And so I'm like. That's a little bit. That's kind of annoying. I don't know. Also, second thing. The thing is, I don't get those vibes. But like, you also never know. Oh shit. Until before I left for my trip last week, which holy crap. I can't believe a week ago I was in Australia. For like not even that long either. I was only in there for literally less than five days. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Oh. Yeah, I'm like worried. In my head, I'm like the worst things are going through my head. I'm like. Stressed. I was kind of stressed though. <laughs> Holy moly. You're crazy. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. We've all been there. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. No, 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 don't be. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't be. I'm so sorry, guys. Thanks, so. Sal. Yes, girl. I just be always dropping shit. But anyways, your freaking trip. I want to know. Uh -huh. Don't hear your rant. Cut this all out. Mm. So good. Dude, I'm almost done and you're like still halfway. Because I'm fucking yapping. That's true, I guess. Okay. I, no, because I'm Okay. Just, I'm just listening and eating. No, I'm just joking. Joke long, joke long, joke long. <gasps> Are you Filipino? <laughs> Are you serious? What is that? Right, guys? Mom, tell me about the concert first. It was so fucking unreal. I had a really good time mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my god, yes, finally yes. seeing like the artist of my dreams. Mm -hmm. Like my dad loved her Fearless and her Speak Now albums. Mm -hmm. So we would listen to it a lot in the car. Um, Those are like her early albums, yeah? 2008. Oh no, maybe I, I think I was in second grade. Yeah. Seven. I was in seven. second. Mm -hmm. I was talking about it in my vlog, but they're not coming out until June. <laughs> Until June? I have vlogs scheduled all the way out until June. Mm. What do you mean? <laughs> this wasn't. A, this one isn't gonna come out until June or July. Wait, you're actually like on it. <laughs> like no. you're on that shit. Wait, hold on. It's just so yummy. I know. I'm almost done. I was so excited, guys. 
<clears throat> yeah, I've been listening to those albums for a very, very, very long time. Mm -hmm. I was talking about it in my vlog, but my dad listened to it one because he he genuinely like liked her fearless and her speak now and albums mm -hmm. but two he liked to listen to me sing in the car mm. and he knew i loved those songs so he would only play taylor swift in the car when mm -hmm. we were driving around places like to and from school and stuff like that mm -hmm. and so we would listen to those songs a lot and yeah i've just been a taylor swift fan ever since that's so cute it's really like fulfilling to be able to like finally see her mm -hmm. in person because like I never thought that I'd be able to because artists never tour here. Mm -hmm. Problem is, is that I'm mad at her. True. She's not calling for a ceasefire. Mm -hmm. You guys, it's February right now, and as of February, she's not calling for a ceasefire. <clears throat> February 2024, which is how long has it been? October. Right, this is the fifth month. Holy shit. Almost Five, six months? Yeah, almost six months of a genocide. And, and they're still going. She hasn't said anything. And people are like, well, you can't expect celebrities to speak up and say anything. But didn't she literally speak up about voting? She did. But that's not my problem. There were rumors that her team, <laughs> her management team or something like that, one of one of the staff working on her, was going to take action against this guy who was releasing AI nudes of her. Which, no, by the way, that. that's not okay <laughs> not for okay. anybody, mm -hmm. including Taylor Swift. No woman should have to fucking go through that. Like, having your fucking nudes released and it's, like, nudes formed by an AI, that's not okay. Mm -hmm. And so there were just rumors of that going around that her her team was going to take legal action against the guy that was releasing that. It wasn't like a, a declaration or anything. Mm -hmm. And the government said, hey, we should make a law that forbids people from making AI nudes of people and posting them on the internet. Which by the way, it should be illegal. But the point is, is that she, has. she, she didn't say anything yeah. and she has the government being her bitch. She and has like, influence. Yeah, and she hasn't said anything about this genocide. And I'm like, okay, well, if she outright said, hey, I want a ceasefire, like, what would happen? Mm. Like, which is why so many people expect her to say something because that is influence right there. And she didn't even say outwardly, I want this to be illegal. As a Swifty, I'm like so disappointed in her. People do bring up a really good point about how she's on tour right now. Mm. And so it would be dangerous for her. And so I was just thinking about like contracts and what's her name? Um, Mitski? Is yeah. that her name? Mm -hmm. She played a show in Tel Aviv years ago. Mm -hmm. And when she got back from the show, she was on Twitter and it, this statement can't be found online anymore. It's just screenshots because I think her PR team forced it to delete or something like that. Mm -hmm. But she tweeted out that she deeply regrets it because she didn't know about the apartheid and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So she had to play a show in Tel Aviv. Like she could not go against it legally. Like Taylor Swift's like movie aired in Tel Aviv and so did Beyonce's by the way. Like people are like forgetting that, especially now because Beyonce's uh, Renaissance album just came out and Taylor Swift shows are picking back up because it's the new year. So she's starting her her Asia and her European tour. Mm. Like no one is talking about it except for people who are constantly talking about Palestine. I'm just kind of like wondering like how binding are these contracts that she's yeah. in that she can't say anything or if she's just actively choosing to not say anything. Yeah. Honestly, I think they like they broke up because of the Super Bowl. <laughs> what? What, what do you mean? I have a conspiracy that it's all PR. What do you mean? Tell me more. It's probably not true, but I feel like she, they broke up, right? She starts dating this football. Yeah. Dude, on the Chiefs during like like the lead up to the Super Bowl, right? Okay. And so he gets into the Super Bowl team against 49ers and she's there. All the publicity, like everyone's watching Super Bowl now because like she's the boy, the girlfriend. Yeah. And so Chiefs like were down by so much. Oh, and, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. And so they had to go into overtime and they won. Was this like set up because now like know i don't know if that's like stupid but i just feel like it's just so coincidental like they win after they st she starts dating like taylor swift and like taylor swift is like so popular and everyone's watching the super bowl you know what i mean it's probably not true but i'm just like what if it happened like what if that was a thing <laughs>
Let me talk about that. Mm -hmm. Mm. This is yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I think the Hulk. What's his name? Yeah, I don't know his name. But he talks about it. I think America Fer Ferreira. Ferreira, yeah. Mm. Bella Hadid. She been though. Bella Hadid. Bella is so much more like out there for Palestine and Gaza. Mm -hmm. As a Swifty, I do believe that she should be speaking up right. about Palestine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Cause... like, what the fuck? Why doesn't she say anything? <gasps> And like, I know if I said anything, she'd be get like irritated and stuff. So I was just like side eye. I was pissed off. Yeah, I couldn't say this around her because like I know she's not the kind of person to care about that. But, but that's so fucked. Like I don't understand how anyone can be like degaff about it. Yeah. <laughs> or funny. like how they can side with is is I word. Yeah, is not real. Uh, mm -mm. Have you seen that girl Ellie Ziegler on TikTok? Uh uh, mm. She annoys the fuck out of me. Like she's actually so out I of blocked touch. her months ago. You know what I learned too? I learned that you probably knew this already, but I didn't. What? That the pat the Hamas they offered to let go of the hostages. Yeah. The IDF. Yeah, they fucking did. And and they denied it. The problem like no, because what because like isn't that what you were trying to fight for so well, if they were giving it to you guys willingly and you reject that then this is more of a you problem like you are not no, a single they've never cared about the hostages from the beginning <laughs> yeah. of the war and so even if hamas offered up all of the hostages they would degaff like netanyahu, <laughs> netanyahu Degaff about the hostages. I don't know how people don't understand. This is literally modern day like colonization, babe. <laughs> Give me one of that. <laughs> Give me one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Getting so pressed, we gotta eat the chicken skin out of fury. <laughs> I'm like really happy that you care. Mm -hmm. You were the one that. Got me. Yeah, because I was so upset that night, and since then I've seen I've see, been seeing you repost on TikTok, and I'm like, oh, she still cares. Of course I care. Because I've I've told a couple people about it, and like, they're like, oh yeah, that's really terrible, blah, 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 and they like care and stuff, but then like I never see them caring about it ever again mm -hmm. after that point. So I'm like, oh, she's still keeping up. That's nice. I retweeted it quite often. Also, like there there was that day I literally texted you. Was this when I was in Australia? Yeah, and I was yeah. like, oh my god, like I'm literally fucking crying looking at these TikToks. But there were TikToks of the, what did Moltaz's Mo picture that he held for like, yeah. I didn't see it, but like I got so scared. Like I didn't even want to see it. Like I, I was looking at the comments and how they're like, like it's so sad, blah, 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 to see that. Like, and how are we so, like so desensitized? That's my thing with it. That's crazy. I, I, when I was looking at the picture, I was like, it hurt a lot to look at it. Of course but it hurt. I didn't cry because I was so used to seeing yeah. so much content about it. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's just horrible. Like that's not something that- That's not something that should be normalized. Mm -hmm. And I don't get how people around the world are still like- Degaff. Yeah. Or like they're on the other side. Like there's so much content and like evidence <clears throat> of th that this yeah. is happening. Like, I don't know, people are literally stupid. They are- abolishing they're eradicating they're eradicating they're colonizing they are murderers well because like with colonization like, comes with yeah like, all types of violence mm -hmm. exactly a lot of like the technicalities go into like religion and stuff but like mm -hmm. i'm not religious i don't know anything about that me neither before 1948 israel wasn't established in palestine it was historic palestine before they decided, hey, we're gonna establish ourselves in Palestine, they were also thinking about establishing themselves in Kenya, in Africa. I heard that like even after like they take over Palestine, like they're gonna expand to all of the other Middle Eastern countries to fulfill this state, like this ethno state of Greater Israel, which takes parts of Saudi Arabia and Egypt and all of these surrounding countries too. So it's like they're not gonna stop at Palestine, they're gonna go to all the surrounding neighboring countries too in the Middle East. Oh. 
They are sick, bro. Yeah, they're sick. They're like fucking twisted. You wanna split this? <laughs> you wanna split this chicken skin? With no, me? you're good. You're good. Okay. I'm full. Let's fuck. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I need to read up on history for that. I need to go get a book. You know, like when you read a paragraph many, many times and like it just never sinks in? Yes. That's me with all the It's crazy graphs. because I like. <laughs> I read it with my eyes and my brain, but like my conscious, like is not paying attention to it. Like yeah. I cannot comprehend. Yeah, it. I can't retain it. <laughs> I'm just like reading it mindlessly. Next time there's a protest, I should invite you. We should go we together. Should. We you just, went to one, huh? Uh, Here. I went to like three or four. It was really awesome. It's really sweet. The biggest one just passed. Where was it? Waikiki. Yeah, it was, you know the park that's right across Waikiki? I mean, not Waikiki, um, from Al Moana. Mm -hmm. We started there and we walked all the way to Kapilani. We walked all the way through Waikiki. Like, we got to walk in the streets. Honestly, it's so good because, I don't know why, but Hawaii is so different in the case that, like, if there's a protest, these police officers, like, they are going to help you protest. I'm not saying like I love police officers and stuff, but like it's just so different. It, it's not as violent. It's not as I violent. Don't trust them. Yeah, I mean I don't trust them or anything, but like they are like it's not like Georgia helpful. or something. They're helpful. I was um, actually watching like a TikTok today that was like cop cities are being built everywhere in the U.S. and they're talking cop about cities. They're talking about building one here. What the fuck is a cop city? I just learned that today because I hear people talking about it, but I never realized like how much it matters, especially now. Shut up. You know, let me just look at look at what a fucking cop city is, so I don't fucking butcher this. I've never heard of that. To be clear, cop city is not just a controversial training center. It's a war base where police learn will learn military-like maneuvers to kill black people and control our bodies and movements. The facility includes shooting ranges, plans for bomb testing, and will practice tear gas deployment. There. Are practicing how to make sure poor and working class people stay in line so when the police kill us in the streets again like they did to Richard Brooks in 2020 they can control our protests and community response to how to continually murder our, murder our people and this was said by wait so they're Kwame building one here Olufemi by the community movement builders uh, so they're building one here there's see? plans for what it there's plans for it Hold please wait. no um, Pop Cities, U.S. Thumbnail. Here we go. Look at thumbnail. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Here, look. Planning, <gasps> planning, and assessment for us. What the fuck began after 2020? Yeah. It's like to restrict, like movements. That was that was close to um Black Lives Matter movement, yeah. That Anybody? was that was when it happened. Oh my fucking that God. was during quarantine. Are people literally stupid? And do they literally still don't? Uh, they still don't think people are equal? Because um, let me tell you, the richest man ever to exist was a black man. Really? You didn't know that? No. Mansa Musa was the richest person to ever exist. Even more so than Jeff Bezos. Yes. Wow. How? He, what did he do? <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> I love history and so I, I was in a history class for African American African studies. Wow. I failed history, so this would <laughs> be awesome. I, I love history. Mansa Musa. Who he was. Why so rich? Why so rich, huh? <laughs> Mansa Musa inherited a kingdom that was already wealthy, but his work in expanding trade made Mali the wealthiest kingdom in Africa. His riches came from mining significant salt and gold deposits in the Mali Kingdom. Where was that originally? It's it was in West Africa from 1226 to 1670. South and Western Mauritania and Senegal. Interesting. I don't know that. We're learning a lot tonight. Yes. We always have such a productive dinner when we're together. <laughs> he was extremely wealthy. It has been suggested that he was the wealthiest person in history. He was a Muslim. Girl, how the fuck do I open this? There was also this book that I read. I loved my professor. He... He's... <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to focus on how to open this. <laughs> Why isn't Give it me. opening? Touch? Girl. Oh. <laughs> Ah. You're pulling down on this. Ah. <laughs> right. We read this textbook and it's talking about how Africa is the wealthiest country because of all Continent? the- Continent? Yeah. 
<laughs> wealthiest continent and like everywhere else just like oh okay. just like calls them like tribes and stuff everyone exploits them all of these fucking western countries exploit third world countries and try to paint them in a barbaric picture mm -hmm. but literally they're the richest continent ever to exist so you know i'm not loving the rice me neither everything else me neither i loved the jelly let me eat some more i agree i i think if it was a little sweeter it would be better like the rice yeah should we go buy sugar <laughs> we're right next to the store isn't it close time oh but the jelly's so good i don't think you're ready for this jelly <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this mm. Completely didn't tell you about my Australia trip. No. <laughs> Irie, editing, cut here. Thank you. <laughs> the concert is truly like a crazy experience. Mm -hmm. 96,000 other girls I saw that. with you. Mm -hmm. and, like, all of my favorite songs were playing live and she was right there. We had really good seats. Where was your seats? Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> the stage was right there. Damn. Really good yeah. seats. It's the biggest that stadium, stadium on huge. tour so far. Oh, you know what's crazy too? Wasn't it three nights? Mm -hmm. It was the nicest concert experience because I didn't get groped. And like, I didn't get into fights with anyone. Those are all girls. Yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. Sabrina Carpenter was our opening act. Mm hmm. She was so cutie patootie. I love her. Love her. I only used to keep up with her like her hits mm -hmm. because like I never really listened to her albums like that. But like mm -hmm. now I'd be listening to her albums. It's really good. Okay, I'm gonna dump this in there. While you're trying to Yes. Yes, Lay. I love the Pokeball. We'll put it in the back. This West Side. West Side Bangers. <laughs> West Side um, Bangers. Are those different lights? Or the same lights? No, they're the same lights. It's just that like one yeah, button is different. to turn on all of them. Oh. Yeah. It was just, it was such a crazy experience. I was like so happy to like see her live and listen to all my favorite songs and everything like that. Oh yeah, the, I told you about like, well the day that we went, well the day we were talking, I went to like the Melbourne Zoo and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I already told you about all that. Mm -hmm. But like the day after that we went on a, like a 12 apostles tour and it you was tell me about really that. pretty yeah oh yeah like the beach is so <gasps> so pretty. you guys went down too yeah oh my God. it was crazy like, oh so pretty yeah girl they're just right wait, there wait this looks like a fucking like, stock photo yeah <laughs> yo <laughs> this is crazy yeah girl guys, it's really look. there like literally she's a photographer you have to put it closer to the screen. Meow! Meow! There's a cat! There's a cat! Meow! Meow! No! Meow! Girl, it's looking at the food. Meow! Wait, usually my cat call works. Oh, she's gone. Away. No, come back, babe. Babe, come back. Wait, that was such a cute cat. You guys. <laughs> if she comes back, you best know I'm gonna do that again. Anyways, show me more. This is um, the Lockard Gorge. Very pretty. Oh, this is the Razorback. So why is there just a lot of rocks? In the ocean. I don't know. I think they're natural. They're naturally formed. Wait, yeah, that's cool. the waves crashing behind it. It was really cool. Yeah, it was just like very gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And then we saw koalas. Yeah, they're really hard to see because they're like the kind. What the but like, <gasps> hold on. That's so cute. I give you a little sneak peek of the vlog. Hold on. Oh guys, don't watch. Guys, don't watch. By the time this goes up, the Australia vlogs oh. will have already will already be posted before this. Dude, you literally have it scheduled out. You're, yeah. I gave you so much credit. Thank you. It's just you know, if you go on a trip, it's you, easy. You have content for yeah. here. Oh look, little baby. Oh. It's just they're just sleeping. Oh. Oh yeah. Sorry. Our what tour is guy, that? An apple? It's our tour guy picked off an apple off of 
off a tree off the road. He's so tiny. Wait, this is not the good. <gasps> yeah, wait, him, him, look. He's so cute. Look, he woke look. up and turned his head. He's really sweet. That's yeah. So cute. They were wild claws. They're not like in captivity or anything like that. They're just wild. Yeah. So it's really like that, I guess. How long does it record for? About 16. Yo, my hair minutes. is still red. I dyed it so long ago. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see it? It's these. It's over here. But over here is um, dark brown. She's itching my scalp. Thank you. Oh, he's going to 24 hour. Where's 24 hour? It's right there. <laughs> it's a lot happening right now. I don't know. What the fuck? Anyway. Anyway. Mm. Dude, it was fucking crazy. Because we, we got back to, from the Taylor Swift concert at 1 in the morning or something like that. Ooh. And then we had to stay up for the next couple hours to like pack and like get ready for the airport. And then we took a nap and we woke up at four. No, 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 a.m. A.m. So oh. like we only got to nap for an hour. Oh, like we only, we napped at like three. Oh, I see. So like we napped for like an hour and then we woke up at four to leave for the airport at five. And then we had our flight from Melbourne to Sydney and we napped on the plane. It was only like an hour flight. And then we went to the Sydney Opera House during the layover because the layover was nine hours. And oh my. well, the Sydney Opera House is only 15 minutes from the airport, uh -huh. so it's really close. But we went to the Opera House, and then there's a botanical garden that's connected to the Opera House, and we went exploring in the botanical garden. And then we took a break in a cafe in the middle of the botanical garden, and then it started thunderstorming, like no shit like thunderstorming like i've never heard cracks of thunder louder in my life oh my god it was scary it was like flooding and everything and it was like it was just so fucking crazy so it was like thunderstorming and then we were kind of like waiting it out for half an hour just to see what happened but i was looking at the forecast and it said that the thunderstorms were gonna let up until like two in the morning mm -hmm. the following day oh my so i was like dude we just gotta go to the gift shop get an umbrella and then we gotta walk over to the nearest street to get an uber mm -hmm. and then yeah we went to the gift shop and then we fucking walked over to the nearest street and we got fucking soaked and <gasps> i had to change into like a spare change of clothes at the airport it was wild so your luggage is like you guys oh it? we um we start our luggages at the airport oh okay. like there's a luggage locker that's good yeah it was only like 15 dollars for the day so it was like no biggie yeah we got back to the airport and then we were waiting around and then my friend thought that the so we were in terminal two which is domestic flights and we needed to go to terminal one because terminal one is international mm -hmm. we got to the airport at like 1 30 or something our flight was at like five mm -hmm. and then at like two i was like oh should we go over to terminal one and then just wait there and she thought that the terminal was in the same building as two and three because terminal two and three are like in the same building i think and mm -hmm. it's only they're only like floors like terminal two and then terminal three mm -hmm. so like yeah so she thought that like terminal one was in the same building and then i was like oh okay and then we waited until like three something and then we found out that terminal one was actually like a bus ride away it was like a 10 minute bus ride away Holy to a different building moly. yeah and then we eventually like found the bus and we took a bus there and then there was a huge huge line at check-in that like was fucking taking forever and we got to like terminal one at like four and then we waited in line for like 45 minutes um which is like when they started boarding mm -hmm. and yeah it was just like all these fucking people taking like weird stuff onto the plane miscellaneous abnormal items that you don't normally take on a plane so like the um check-in was taking a lot longer than usual and the other Jetstar employees from like a different flight had to come to our flight and help us out. Oh shit. Um, like they had to open up extra kiosks. Yeah. Kiosks. Desks. Yeah. We had to rush over to our gate after TSA. Thankfully TSA was really quick. It was not crowded. That's and good. you don't have to take anything out of your bags. It was awesome. <laughs> and then we ran over to like our gate and stuff, but like I didn't get to eat that day. <gasps> so I was like, dude, I'm gonna go buy food. So like I bought food and stuff and then we made it to our gate. They had to pull me aside for like an extra security check. I don't know. They were just being fucking irritating. What the fuck? I'd be so annoyed. I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got into our flight and our flight was like really empty that like we could all space out. And oh, stuff. that's good. Did you sleep then? Oh, I slept the whole flight, which is really abnormal for me because I'm an extremely light sleeper, but because I was so tired and like exhausted from still the concert like i slept the whole flight 
and it was super awesome. You said 11 hours? Um, the flight coming back was nine and a half hours. That's nine and a half hours of sleep then. Yeah, it was really That's good. That's a good night's sleep. <laughs> and then I got back and I went home and took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking annoying. Yeah. How was your Zip Air flight um, back from Japan? Was it a lot of turbulence? No. What the fuck? I don't know. Zip Air is like so bad. Like I'm traumatized. Because on our flight back, like, and the whole ride there, there was like shaking. It wasn't like turbulence, mm. turbulence, but it was just like the plane just kept shaking. It was like mm. flying in the air like this. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, dude, I need to sleep this whole flight or else I'm going to throw up. Maybe just bad weather when you flew out. Probably. It wasn't bad, just their food was bad. I almost threw up on the flight there, which is like really unusual for what me, but I'm pretty sure it was the airplane have? food. Um, we bought like the flex pack because we wanted to be able to choose our seats in the flex pack of beef lasagna is included And it was terrible. It was like flavorless like no salt and then like the cheese on top Like it's not even like real cheese Like I don't think it, that can be called cheese because it was like a layer of cheese on the top and then under it is like watery cream Ew! Like booger looking <laughs> like the color of creamy boogers <laughs> seriously you guys <laughs> and it was terrible and then I ate it and then half an hour later like I guess like I dozed off after I ate it and then half an hour later I like jolted out of like sleep I guess I couldn't act and I like almost, almost threw up. up like I started <gasps> gagging in my seat and like I was about to like call over a flight attendant to get me a bark bag or go to the bathroom but the bathroom was occupied so I was like <gasps> I was like so scared and I started also having like a panic attack too that's <clears> how I be it was terrible <laughs> and then and then like I asked my friend if I could just sip her water just to like I was like maybe there's like maybe yeah some water would help and so I just took it like a couple sips of water and then like the the gagging feeling went down and like I was okay but like I had to sit there for the next hour like straight up and like I couldn't move yeah so, yeah like I could suppress like the feeling of wanting to throw up and like calm myself down after I get it that was crazy oh my gosh that's actually so bad the flight going there was really annoying because there was this stupid bald man in front of me and he reclined his chair and I was like gonna edit my manuscript on the flight but I didn't have room because his fat fucking head went into my fucking space and I couldn't even put out my keyboard. Fucking bitch. Keyboard? Yeah, because I was editing my manuscript. What's a manuscript? Like my book. Yeah. The one that you were working in senior year? Yeah. Because oh, like... Good? It's going. I don't know. It's like it's going. I'm like trying to edit it and everything because my boyfriend really wants to read it. How far are you? How far in are you? I'm about like ten. I'm twelve chapters in. How many, How chapters? many chapters? That's exciting. The last <coughs> the last time we talked about it, you said people were reviewing it. Did they finish reviewing it? Um, well, I only submitted about 36 pages, mm -hmm. which is like the first five chapters or something like that. And they were like, lots of potential. Lots of potential. Hope I get to see more. That's good. 48 chapters. Oh, so you're like one fourth down? I, you know, I wouldn't say that because chapter 12 is like, the 12th chapter is also like 30 pages in, but it's... Gosh, I feel like I'm at the club. Because like I sur I submitted like I submitted. <laughs> I submitted 36 pages double space. Oh but I reverted it back to single space because I edit better in single space. So it's 36 pages single space into the book. But the overall book is over 200 pages, so it's a little under 25%. That's not bad. Yeah. What isn't like 200 like it's like 400 long? pages double space. Oh, it's a little bit long than I thought like this I'm like trying to get back into editing cuz like I was telling my boyfriend about like the plot of one of them Of mm -hmm. like one of the scenes in my book and I got really excited talking about it It was just like really fun and I had a lot of fun talking about it and I was like I should edit my manuscript because <laughs> I told my boyfriend Yeah, it was like really sad. Dude, you're so like organized with your content. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh my god, you should be a fucking social media manager anyway. Speaking of I am a social media manager. For everyone. 
Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish I had more clients because then How I could start you, earning 10K a month. Did you find more though? No, because it's a slow season right now. Babe, you'll get there. Like all jobs are like that. Especially yeah. when you're like working for yourself, like mm -hmm. you need to get yourself out there. Like real estate work, I heard it's a hustle too because you need to get these clients, right? Yeah, yeah. You literally is. start from nowhere. Like who yeah. the fuck do you go to? <laughs> but I mean, you'll always get there eventually. So I believe in you, Isha. Thank you. You're gonna get 10K a month and you're gonna go travel the world, babe. Every time I think that my business isn't working, I get an inquiry. Oh. And so it's like, it does work, it's just that it takes time and patience and it also helps that a lot of photographers are also discovering my pages That's good. and everything and like they're following my content and they're interacting with me and we're having fun. I want to see your business page. You can't see the content. Wait, why? I want to see Because it's embarrassing. But Wait, you can why? you can look at my page, but okay, you're not okay. you're not allowed to look at press. any of the reels. Okay. No reels, but okay, you can no reels. you can just look at the page. Oh my gosh, do so you make all these? Mm -hmm. Wait, I actually want to press on it because I want to learn. Don't! <laughs> no, because I want to learn. Like, you have a lot of, like, marketing. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, no, stop, stop, open it, open it! You have a lot of marketing stuff and I try, I, I want to learn. You can, things. you can look at the carousels, not the selfie carousels. Which one's can, the, this one? Yeah, like okay, the carousels, okay. like not the reels. You can look at the carousels and, but like, not like, the reels the re this or, ones oh okay, cool you can't look at the reels and you can't look at the carousels that have a picture on it but you can look at the regular carousels that look like this <laughs> she's so bossy guys <laughs> I blocked oh everybody. Goodness. You know, I blocked everybody that I know on this Did you page. block me? Yeah. You bitch ass. <laughs> Fuck you. I was like, you can't see this, you guys. Okay, let me see. You Start know? removing your followers, you to me. <laughs> guys, we are 23. I'm 22. She's 22, 2023, but we're turning 23 this year, but... Like, what are we getting married for at this age? I'm just you kidding. Know? Should we get married at our late 20s or like early, early 30s? 30s? Yeah, that's a good spot. I know, I know. But I would <laughs> still love a ring. Thank you. Oh, just not married. Not married yet. Thank you. Are you sending this to him? You know, I told him this every day though. Oh, period. Oh, you're so honest about it. It's like jokes, but like I want a ring. You're like joke long, but also not joke long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get married right now. Yeah. I just yeah. want a ring. Because rings are so pretty. I feel like just, if you just see it on like someone's hand, like just like fucking fat stone. Yeah. I want one of those. So, see, that's what I'm saying. It's just so pretty to have. Or maybe I could just get a promise ring. Mm, let me text him right now. <laughs> Can you tell him I said hi? Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> I was going to talk about weddings, but I was, I was going to talk about two. Your job? Or was it, okay, was it weddings I don't as know. in your job or weddings as in let me get a ring on my finger? That kind. <laughs> Wait, no, but I was also gonna talk about something else. Okay, well, let's forget it. <laughs> You're gonna remember it in a second. No, I was gonna ask, do you know what kind of wedding you want? Mm -hmm. Wow, tell me. Let's talk about wedding. <laughs> yeah, I wanna know. This is interesting. We've never talked about this before. I know, okay, and then you go after it. Okay. No, you go first, because I, I don't know. No, because I got, I got a uh, story to tell, so you go first. Oh, well, okay. Well, I don't really know what I want for my wedding, okay. but I do want a wedding, right, guys? And I want it to be a little bit big. Oh, I remembered! Go! See, I told <laughs> no, you! Go. No, go! No, 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 what is it? Did you forget? <laughs> Asia, it was one second back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, we were talking about my classmate getting married, but go! Yes, yeah. Go! Oh, no, I was just gonna say, like... How Hold on. did they have so... enough money? It's so mind-boggling that people our age are getting married. They're getting married. They're having babies, and they didn't go to college. They, I don't know where they work, but they have enough money to afford gorgeous weddings or like babies. Like, how do they? What, dude? You know? What? Anyway, what kind of wedding do you want? Anyways, honestly, like I haven't went too in depth about it. Okay. But I do want it like a little bit big Ooh, for the reception. The only thing I have planned is I want to make or like try to like incorporate like a modern 
like Filipino dress into my wow. my, my reception dress or wedding dress. Fun. Yeah. Like That's a exciting. Maria Clara. Wow. Is that your boyfriend? Yeah. Hi. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up, babe? <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh my Asia, she said hi. Hi. He said <laughs> Did you hear? I, I could hear her. Are you drunk? Oh yeah. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, thank you. I miss miss you too, man. That's the drunk love. Why are you mad at me? Because this is very awkward. I'm talking with you dude, and my friend is right here next to me. You wanna know what we're talking about? <laughs> oh, you wanna know what we're talking about? We're talking about <laughs> weddings. Oh yeah, talk about it. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, no, let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, where's my ring? Thank you. <laughs> okay, let me know. Okay, my. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I want like fi modern Filipino dress. Like, Can I see like an example? Yeah. Because I don't know like a lot of Filipino traditional wear, so I would like to see. Honestly, like. And no one, I don't think anyone has done it. Ooh, she'll be the first. So I don't have, I'll be the first. Not Maria Clara. Oh, Bolero. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so I want to do that. Oh, this is so cute! You guys. Like I said, Filipina. She said, yeah, she said Filipina. But I don't, like, I don't really care for, like, nature. <laughs> I mean, I love nature and stuff, but, like, uh -huh. I don't think... <laughs> Uh huh. I don't think like it's like a big picture for like what my wedding. Wow, you know what I mean? that's interesting, right? Like an urban wedding. Yeah, maybe an urban. Mm -hmm. wow. Moderna, not Moderna COVID. <laughs> okay, I was like Moderna shot? booster shot. <laughs> <gasps> the wedding centered around COVID <laughs> Moderna booster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think she meant modern, modern. but with a. A little sassy twist. Yes, literally. <laughs> but yes, I want it a little bit modern. Maybe in a ballroom or something. And then the reception. Oh, you know what I want? I want a lot of like lights. Like you know like those fairy lights and stuff. Oh yeah. Those and, are like, sweet. Other deck decoration. I don't fucking know. Okay. But then and then for the reception, I want to have a karaoke machine, a photo booth, and I want dancing to happen. If you are at my wedding and you are not dancing, you're getting kicked out. Okay, Asia? <laughs> Not a dancer. Not a dancer. <laughs> and I want like hints of light purple because that's me and his favorite color. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, he likes purple. Okay, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing. I wanted like two of these. <laughs> well, first. Girl, she's gonna make 10,000 a month. It doesn't even matter. For the first one, it wouldn't matter because I want to do like an elopement. Okay. Like, I wanted to literally just be me, him, and the pastor. Okay. And, okay, I thought you meant like, like two a photographer. big weddings. No, no. Like, literally me, him, yeah. the photographer, and then a pastor. And then we'll dress up really nice, and I'll get like my makeup done, and I'll have like a really nice dress, and I'll get like a really nice bouquet, and it'll mm -hmm. be like proper. It's just it's and not a witness. gonna be bit. It's not gonna be busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the photographer will be the witness. Oh, you're right, you're right. You're but right. like, I want it to be in like nature, so like maybe like. We're opposite. <laughs> yeah. So maybe like <coughs> in like a forest lake, <gasps> like twilight. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> honestly, a forest wedding is gonna be so nice. Yeah, or like on the beach at beautiful. sunset. Beautiful. Or really beautiful. Like oh, there's this. Would you ever have like those weddings that's like in a different country? Absolutely. Like this kind of wedding. Like, oh! Yeah, on a fucking cliff. Girl. Like if you jump, I jump. <laughs> yeah. That's a little like, crazy. It's crazy. Like, like oh, beautiful. Yeah, like, Under Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so funny. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I saw that waterfall okay. picture. And then I was like, mmm, the foreheads of the president. <laughs> oh would my be god. So funny. <laughs> On the um, cliff, like dead ass. Yeah, girl. Like it's just You're so actually beautiful. crazy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so hey. I wanted to do like an elopement like that. But then like we wouldn't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't even tell you. That's okay. <laughs> You can tell me after. She said that's okay, but I know deep down she's like, fuck you. 
Mm-hmm. No, because we're gonna go get Pokeballs one day and then you are gonna vlog about your enlopement. And you're gonna yeah. tell me all the tea. Thank you. It's just a thank you in advance. Cause That's like good. the idea of like a normal wedding like gives me a lot of anxiety. Like I get anxious so easily mm. and like Like let let it just be you and him. Jumping off a cliff. Yeah. Ooh, she's bringing up pictures. You see, I was gonna bring up some pictures, but don't have any inspiration. Do you want kids? Boy and a girl. Period. No, because some people get so lucky. What? But like some people get like unlucky. What do you mean? When having kids? Or are you adopting? No, I'm having kids. Mm. If I can. If you can. Yeah. Because like for me, like I want the same thing, but like. What do you want? A boy and a girl. Okay. But like if I don't have that, then like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I mean, I love them. Yeah. But like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> love ya. <laughs> them seeing this years later. But like. <gasps> one day they're gonna see uh, this. Hi. Hi, kids. <laughs> Wee. Wee. <laughs> She's. Bella's <laughs> kids are gonna see this one day. They're gonna be like, mom, what are you doing? Like, they're like. Mom was a vibe back in the day. She's still a vibe. She's still a vibe. No, but like, I don't know. I just want a boy and girl. And if I don't get that, um, I'll still be thankful. I either want a boy and a girl or I want two girls. Yeah. But if I have two boys, then it's like, I mean, it's you fine. Do. Like, you have, what, are, like, what am yo, I gonna do? I'm not gonna love them less. It's yeah. just that, like, that's in my just, head, that's yeah. just the picture you paint for yourself. Exactly. That's me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's my god. Me. One day my kids are gonna see this. <laughs> Hi. <Hey> kids. <laughs> This is Ate. Ate, Ate Anala. Ate Anala. Hey girl. Or oh boy. Dude, I want my reception to fucking look like this. No, that's gorgeous. Yeah, like I want gorgeous. a fantasy wedding. <gasps> it's so perfect for you. Oh, that's amazing. What is that, Greece? Yeah. Ah! <gasps> that. So I'm just... Oh, thank you. Oh, the sunset is so pretty. <gasps> yeah. I want like an outdoor ceremony because mm -hmm. it'll feel less confining mm -hmm. and claustrophobic than an indoor one. And I want it at like sunset mm -hmm. and like maybe on the beach or mm -hmm. like maybe on like a balcony like this or something like that. And like I, it either has to be like near the ocean or it has to be like in nature. I want like an indoor and an outdoor reception, like a half half. Mm. Like there's like an indoor part, but there's also an outdoor part. Oh, I see. I see yeah. what you mean. And then like during the ceremonies, when we'll die, everyone we're already married. <laughs> no, I love that. Ooh, what can I dress you? See, are you gonna get a dress? Of course I am. But like, I don't know what suits me. Mm, Wedding I dress see. shapes. I have to search this up so often. Shapes. <laughs> Cause like, there's certain shapes that match with your body type. Mm, and like, I've never thought of it. My dumbass. Here. So like, this is your body type. And then this is the dresses that match that with your figure. For me personally, I either want this one. That's so or you. this one. That's so either you. Or. Thank you. I think I like that one too. Yeah. It's pretty. pretty. Ooh, but I do want to talk about rings. Ooh, <laughs> what kind of ring do you want? Like, what kind of stone do you want? <laughs> Okay, I don't know the stone, but I want like I showed my boyfriend. She knows. Oh, you showed him. Fuck yeah. I don't even know if I can talk about that. <laughs> get, he always talks about it. That's why. Wow. Why? Why is this rainbow? What is it like? Oh, is the word outfit gay? <laughs> <laughs> like, did he come out? Wait, show them. Oh, you guys. Did she come out? Did outfit come out? Why is it in rainbow? What? What? Oh my god, wait, that's so funny, you guys. <laughs> that's an engagement ring, yeah. Oh, here. Let's look at it together. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Like, look, we're picking from wait, a catalog. Wait. Like, what do you want to eat for dinner, guys? <laughs> which one do you want? No. Which one do you like? I don't like any of those. What do you like? Just bands? Well, let's look. Because I never really thought about this. I like the oval. I like the oval or the emerald. Wait, what's the difference? I don't even know what the difference is between an engagement and a wedding ring. This is coming from someone that works in the wedding industry. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, I no, you the same. No. Uh, no, no. So the engagement <laughs> ring, I think, is the one with the is the one with the. 
Engagement rings represent the promise of a future in marriage and should be worn all throughout your engagement, whereas wedding bands are exchanged. See oh. how pretty that one is. I like that one. Thank you. Yeah. Look, this one looks so fantasy core. Oh yeah, see, like I want like, <gasps> like, like a wait, that's beautiful. Yeah. Like, Save I want, that like, shit. A <laughs> wedding folder. I feel like all guys should do that. Anyway, anyway, you are though, so let's go look at rings. It's just so pretty. Oh, that one won. Wait, this one's that one. 1,520. Perfect. That's actually pretty cheap. Yeah, aren't they like three Fucking, to five grand? Yeah. Wait. <gasps> oh, look. Asia. Oh, ah. Well, yeah, this one, this one's beautiful. Yeah, I like that. That's awesome. Wait, Wait you want it green? I don't know what that stone is though. It looks a little weird. Or even this, look, it's like simple, but it has like, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I like that. I love talking about rings. <laughs> I've never had this talk with anyone before. Really? I, I, talk about... I used to be the person that like just did not care about getting married. She's like, ew. There are vlogs where I was like, I don't care about getting married. Like, I don't. Wait, no, literally, I think I've said that in a vlog before. With your friend. And she was literally talking to you about her wedding, right? The, there is a vlog like that, but that's not the vlog that I said it, I'm pretty oh. sure. But like, I said it in a very, very early vlog where I was like, I don't care about getting married. Like, I don't care about weddings and stuff. Like, I want to stay unmarried. Oh my god, glow up. <laughs> what? What about this mouse This one, one is not real, but this eight. What about this mouse one? What? Wait, are you silver? No, you're silver, yeah? I'm a silver girl. Oh my gosh. I am I don't, too. I don't wear gold. We wear silver in this house. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like the blue. Oh, what loaded is this one? <gasps> that one's so pretty. This one that eight. Only because Ooh. it's probably not real. You want to look at? Promise rings. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the difference between your promise? Promise until engagement, until you get an engagement ring, then you guys will stay together. Mm, where's my promise ring? See, I used to be such an amethyst girl. Like That's this would have, this would have fucking pushed me over the edge. Wait, so what kid. stone are you gonna look at or look? Well, do you like the thing is, is that like diamonds are like okay. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, mm -hmm. but they're boring. Period. So where's the color? I'm either like amethyst. Sapphires. Ooh. Emeralds are like a, it's only if it's the rich emerald color, not a pale emerald color. Uh -huh. No topazes. Rubies. Ooh. Rubies are big yes. That's pretty. Blood red? Yeah, blood red rubies. Like I'm fine with anything, I just don't like topazes and amber. Um, how should I, how should I go about this and just, should I just send it to him? You should, well, give him my number and then he'll be like, no told me to text you. Why? <laughs> I'll be like, I'll just send the pictures and then just nothing. Nothing else except pictures. Like get the hint. Yeah, I get the hint king. Like there's oh Ew! <laughs> Ew! That's a <laughs> no, if that's Ew. someone's fucking promise or engagement ring, like I pray mm. for you, baby girl. I pray for you so bad, baby girl. Oh, See, wait. I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this. That one's beautiful. So you like you like the rings that kind of look like crowns? Yeah, oh, I love that. Yeah, I guess so. Oh no, you guys, we're becoming adults. We're getting old. No, I'm gonna look at bridesmaids' dresses. Thank you. Do you want matching or mis mismatch? That's a good question. Whoa, look at this. That's so you. Uh... Thank you. <laughs> look at this. This could be the altar. Oh, what the fuck is this? I want to know how serious you're going to be at your wedding. Because <laughs> I'm like, yes, babe, I do. <laughs> I, I do. Or I'm at the altar and I'm like, mm, <laughs> been. Like, I've been. Like, I finally got my ring. Like, like I've been do. You've been do? <laughs> you're so unserious. I for sure will probably be serious. But during my, like, if I have a speech. <laughs> You know I'm not gonna be serious. Yeah. <laughs> she said, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to it. This is under a big mm. tree. And it's like That's table high on. school musical. <laughs> That's when That's Troy and Gabriella dance <laughs> under the tree. <laughs> they were getting married. They literally were. <gasps> oh, 
I like that. That's Twilight. Girl, why am I? That's Twilight vibes. Have you watched Twilight? Once. You know what's funny? I watched it for the first time like like a month ago. I in my life. saw you tweeting about it or something. I saw I knew you did it. I don't know where I heard this from, but I know you it, it I know it happened. It's probably Twitter. Okay. How was it? Um, How does my friend feel? You know, the last two movies were good. But you know I was fine without it too. <laughs> like I feel like I haven't watched a lot of like the mainstream. Not mainstream, but like a lot of like the iconic, iconic pop culture 2000s movies. Like I haven't. Guess what else I haven't watched? Titanic. I watched that. Oh. It's Disney. Shh. It's Disney. Frozen. No, I love Tangled. her. I lo that's my favorite movie. Don't say it. Hmm, let I'm me guess. I'm not gonna say it. Wait, is this a Pixar movie? No. Like a Disney Pixar? It's not a Pixar movie? Cinderella. Snow White. Is this a princess movie? Up? No. Not a princess movie. <laughs> It's not a princess movie. No. Do I like this movie? We literally just talked about it. Tonight? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I watched, okay, I watched one of the movies, but I never watched a, the full series at all. All the movies? Yeah, think about that. <laughs> Wait, a series? No, you just said it. Wait, I just said it? What do you mean? Like, not too long ago. Think, not a princess movie? Think Hada! Think Hada! Come on. Is this a love story? Yes. Three movies, Transformers. <laughs> That's not Disney! Yeah. How close am I year wise? Pretty close. Wait, what? It's not an animated film? Disney movies. Disney movies, but not an animated film? Yeah. As in, like, drawn? Yeah. Drawn. It's not that. Oh, okay, wait. A live action movie? No! <laughs> Have I seen this? Yes! I don't know what this is. Live action? It's not live action. Wait. It's not animated, but it's not live action. Okay. Live action is people. Well, when I think of live action, I think of like parodies, but like live. I don't know. What is this? No, you can't think. What are Disney movies? No, well, Lion King. Okay, but not that. <laughs> That's animated. There was a live action Lion King bit. There was. <laughs> Oh, like High School Musical? you never seen High School Musical? Yeah, girl. That oh. What? What do you mean you've never seen them? <laughs> I've never seen like a whole movie. I was a like, camp rock girly. Lemonade mouth girly. Um, lemonade mouth. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. This one. That's cool. pretty. This one's a rose. That one's so pretty. He's never gonna see this. Take a hint, take a hint. Wow, I never got to watch that. Victorious? Mm hmm. I like that song from it. Take a hint? Yeah, that's the only song I know. That was a banger. That is a banger. They have so much bangers, honestly. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, baby, I love the way. What is that? Y'all never gonna catch me with a gold ring. Are you a silver girl? I am, but I, but I have this. I also have a gold necklace. On? Yeah. <gasps> no, because like I've been looking for like like thin chains. Oh, I don't know where this is from. Thinnest is like not even that thin. And I'm like, girl, I'm not trying to wear a chain like the West Side Dom is. I'm like, dainty, dainty, dainty. But this is the only, I love this necklace, but it's a ankle. But I just wear it anyways with my silver, like literally How with my silver. Are we like... <laughs> It, yours is like super thin. Oh yeah, it is. Like if you like pull on it, it's gonna break. You know, I'm waiting for this to break because I've had this on for like ever six years, and I tug on it so much, like hard, and it never breaks. And like I'm waiting for this to break. See, if you try to look, it's all fucking like huge, cousin. I'm like, babe, I need this. I need this. The skinny queen. I don't know where this is from. This is probably like a couple decades old. See, now I can't stop looking at engagement <laughs> rings. I do that like all night sometimes. I've never done this before. I've never looked for an engagement ring. I'm glad we're on the same page. You see, a wedding band is useless. I never wear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but like, other than Ooh, that. Oh, <gasps> wait. The match of the wed the engagement ring and the wedding band wait, is like. Wait. You guys, this one's eating. Because I would wear both. This one's eating. I would wear both. See, now I'm stuck looking at engagement rings. As you should, honestly. I want one, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Don't put that negative energy into the world. 
That's like matching, so that's like a, a guy and a girl, yeah? No, I think, oh well, actually, yeah, maybe it is. I think it is for men. And oh yeah, couples ring so set for men and women. <gasps> Beautiful. I love this one. When we were started dating, I got him like rings, mm -hmm. but like it wasn't meant in like an engagement or anything kind of way. It was just, he was like, oh, I wanted to find rings to like wear as accessories, but like I can't find anything that fits my fingers. So I bought him like really nice rings, mm -hmm. but like, Kind of wedding, the kind of rings I want were like wedding ring kind of rings. Like, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Oh my god, fuck, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like because the... I bought, <laughs> I bought me and my ex one. Ooh, 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 ooh. It was literally that. I think it was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I think it was like tungsten Thor or yeah, something like tungsten that. Tungsten seal. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And so we both got bands. And then I gave it to my friend because we broke up. Cause he's a bitch. Oh. Look what you did. Ooh, look what you Ooh, made me do. Look what you made me do. My first real concert was ah. Harry Styles. Rings aren't as expensive as I thought. Oh my god. Yeah, dropping 1.5k for a ring isn't that bad, you yeah. guys. Yeah. Holy fuck, bro. <gasps> like this. Wow, 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 wow. Like, what is aesthetic gay too? <laughs> Wait, guys, guys, aesthetic is gay today. Wait. Why is Wait, it in can fucking focus. rainbow? It's <laughs> Wait, please Wait. focus, you guys. Guys, focus, please. Focus on the. Focus? It's there. Okay, it's there. You guys, why is aesthetic also rainbow? She's gay today. <laughs> guys, Wait, congrats. What is she you trying to do? What are they trying to do? <laughs> <gasps> like like light green. I like that. That's that's a banger color combo. <laughs> I hate us. Okay, bitch. Whatever. That's actually beautiful. Or even this. Oh my god, this is gorge. Ah. You see how this green is so subtle? I wanna see. Okay, maybe I'm gonna do green. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Two crazy girls in a car. <laughs> Weddings are so expensive though, probably. <laughs> the average cost for a wedding here is 28 grand. Oh my, why is Illinois higher than Hawaii? <laughs> I, I'm, I have an interview for HMSA this coming week and I have to prepare for that. For what? What would you do with HMSA? A social media specialist. Oh wow. So I've been prepping like, have you been in an interview before? I mean, I don't like interviews. I don't like any I of them. I fucking hate interviews too. It's just not fun. You see like, it's so weird because I have like a job but I've never interviewed for it. So I don't know like the interviewing process. Isn't that weird? Because I started as an um, intern. Well, you should look up like HMSA interview because sometimes there's people online that talk about their interview experiences. Hold up, hold up. 2024. Oh my freaking goodness. Average. What do you mean average? Like average difficulty. <gasps> you know? Shut up! Oh, you'd have to go in person, wouldn't you? I th Yeah, I am Boo. going in person. Stop! <laughs> Boo! Bitch! Well, you got me on my engagement rings. Now I can't stop thinking about it. She's gonna go home and look at more. I, I am too, girl. I'm think about it now because now I want one. That's what I, dude, once, I don't know what put me on to engagement rings. It was just like a random thing. I think it showed up on my TikTok and I was like, wait, that uh, ring is beautiful. And, all, and I just started looking. And then ever since then, I just always, we should just get each other engagement rings. Honestly. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Don't think, just look at the engagement ring, period. She's a streamer. Yeah, we went to wedding talk to deep talk. Thank you. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> the vlog is crazy tonight. The topics. <laughs> like it went like doom 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 doom. Yeah. That's it though. Happy vibes. <laughs> you know what? You know what's crazy? That was the first. Me and you. Really? I've never told you that. And I don't wow. think I really told anyone that. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, I don't talk about it either. It's just that, like, you know, it, if it, comes it went up, to there. Yeah. The topic went there. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what was I gonna. I was gonna search up something. God damn it. What? <laughs>
<laughs> that was what, like the third time. Wait, well, we were like, we were talking, we, we were talking about the topic switching, and then like, what? <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna show you the camera I want. Let me see, let me see. It's so gorgeous. It has face tracking. These cameras nowadays are like crazy. Face tracking is crazy. That means it's gonna follow us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, wait. I was watching it oh, on. Wrong. I was watching it on <laughs> channel. Oh here. You know who I don't like. What? Why? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't watch her enough to have an opinion on her. Oh, really? I don't know. I just get it because I guess I watch streamers. Mm hmm But, like, she's been in a lot of... She's been saying, like, a lot of stuff. The whole point of Costco is, like, to buy expensive things in bulk for yeah. a reduced price. Exactly. Rather than buy them, like, in smaller quantities but for more expensive mm -hmm. prices. Like, this is, like... That's... Camera? It's a gorgeous camera. Like it has face tracking. Look how good the quality is. It's awesome. Oh, look, look, it's it's moving. moving. It's the same price as this camera. Wait, dude, the quality is insane. I know. I want it. Also, there's another camera that <laughs> I want. We're gonna be like this and it's just gonna keep moving. <laughs> yeah. There's one more camera I want. I want these cameras so badly. So like if anyone wants to find me a gift. So if anyone Oh, you gotta censor that out. Look, look at this camera. I love how cinematic it looks. <gasps> look, it's wait, so wait, wait, wait. What cinematic. Kind of camera? What kind of camera? What kind of camera? I love it. You know what I love? I love cinema. Like, yeah, you know, cinematography. Dude, that camera's fucking expensive. <laughs> it's. Oh, girl. Like, I've always. It's $2,500. <laughs> this one. This is the one that was the, the one with the face tracking. I want this one. Oh! Wait, why is it so small? Because it's a pocket camera. That's actually perfect though for vlogging. Yeah, I want it so badly, but this is the cinematic one I just showed you. We should do one of those one day. We should go shopping together. What? Because I would love that. Yeah, we should. We'll do grocery why shopping. Why have we never done that? Because we don't live near each other's houses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm literally like on the other side of the island. Speaking of, I need to get a blazer for my interview. Do you want to come with me real quick to Wendy's? Is it drive through Period? Let's it's go. right there. Oh, Period. Let's go. Oh Where my god, you? I can't believe you have siblings. Yeah. <laughs> like, you never talk about your siblings. Yeah, he's too old. Do you want to hold my camera? Yes! And then you can vlog! Have a little fun. <laughs> she just like me. She has to push her. Chair all the way to her wheel, bruh. Yeah. Literally like me. Girl, we're going on an adventure. Oh my gosh. We're going 400 feet away. This is the longest you've ever stayed out with me, besides the escape room. Oh my gosh, we went out so late on the escape room. That was fun yeah, though. That was awesome. There's a heart there. Who made that? Oh, that's so cute. I don't even know what to vlog, guys. <laughs> my friend is so excited. That's I'm so, so excited. Happy for her. <laughs> You can't top a Baconator. Do you want anything like a frosty or something? I'm okay. Okay. We're following Asia today. <laughs> I'm her. I'm her IRL assistant. You better not. It's so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, like actually so cheap. Do you want something? I'm okay, girl. Okay. Thank you. I was just looking at the things. I'm like, Hello. Can I get an apple pecan salad? No cheese. Thank you. Oh my god, wait, I would so live on this side. It's so cheap. I'm confused. There's open houses near me. You come move in. Oh my gosh, we're like, oh my god, like we, we need to move out. And we oh my get god. Boba every night. Because it's cheap. The boba here is not cheap. Oh. <laughs> the boba here is just as expensive as town. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm like, should I come? Should I come all the way to Kapolei for a Pokemon? No. She said she's gonna become a West Side banger. Chihu! This is what a vlogger is about. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Yes. Wait, is there something in my eye? You guys, can you look? What if I became a vlogger? <laughs> I need to get me a camera like this. Like honestly, it's so beautiful. 
I wish more people vlogged because it's so sweet. Because I was just looking at like old vlogging footage, like old vlogs and stuff, and I was like, if I didn't vlog, then I would honestly not remember any of this. And That's like, so true. Yeah, and like I would lose those memories forever. Should I start vlogging, guys? You should become a vlogger. I'll watch your videos. I'll play it while I'm cooking and stuff. <gasps> like I, I, I watch your see. your stuff when I'm eating. Are you serious? Stop! I'm embarrassed now. Why? <laughs> Wait, that means you're just like comforting. Oh, I see. Yeah, period. I could not be like nar and stuff. Nar. I was in Australia. You know what her nonsense outro was? What was it? It was told him that his size was underwhelming. I tried to give him pointers, wasn't helping. Maybe I just need a boy from Melbourne. You know, I watched that, um, what is it called? Don't worry, darling. Yes, did you like that one? That was really good. I actually really, really? liked it. Really? Did you like his acting? It was okay, but like... But Flo? We love Flo. Yeah, she's awesome. We love her. You guys, she's I'm so partying, silly. I'm partying under red light. She's so silly. Dude, this is a lot of content you're gonna go... Yeah. You're gonna have to go over. How They're many albums doing, does she uh, have? Like six? Well, she didn't do Taylor Swift, but... Fearless, Speak Now, Red, 1989, Reputation. Lover, Folklore, Evermore, holy, Midnight, holy, so nine albums. Whole, and she's coming out with a new one, yeah? The Tortured Poets Department. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have a good night. Thank you. <laughs> okay, AJ, well, my boyfriend keeps calling me. He said, I need my he baby girl. I need my baby girl. I'm with my other baby girl, so... I came first before he did. Later. Literally, Actually, no, you, you you've did. known him. No, no you've known him since you were kids, right? No, we weren't dating. Oh. Not kids. Like, literally just high school. Not that special, girl. <laughs> hey, bye, Aja. Bye. Thank you for me. Love you. Sorry, do you want to want me to take the trash? No, just leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, Don't girl. forget it. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Thank you for coming all this way. Of course. I always will. Is your, for you. Is your jacket inside out? No. Oh, never mind. Sorry, the tags are sticking out, so I was like, oh. I think it's inside out. Oh. It's not. Bye, vloggy vlog. I love you, Isaac. Love, love you. Drive safe. Thank you. Thank you.